create a movie on the iPad, you first want to open iMovie. And next you want to click plus to create a new project. And we've already recorded video, so all of our video is here that we've recorded. You can click the camera button here if you want to use the camera inside the app. We can switch to the front facing camera. We can take still pictures or video. So we're going to use the video we've already recorded. I'm going to click it here. I can scrub through and see which part I like the most. So if I want to start there, I'm going to click, drag my circle where I want to start, and then this end circle to where I want to end. And I can click and I'll put it into my timeline. Look at my next video. Do the same thing. So now I can also add still pictures by clicking the camera and go into my camera roll. Drop a picture in. So if I want to make that picture shorter, same thing. Click it shorter. This one I can drag shorter as well. It seems to be a little easier to do it from the end. So next thing is we have audio, which is music. We can pick theme music. We can preview them. I'll put drop them in. The green is the audio. If I don't like it, I can click it, double click it, say delete. If I also I don't like this picture anymore, I can double click that, hit delete. If I want to adjust the volume of the music, I can double click the green again. I can turn it up and down here. Now I'm going to click record. I'm going to click record again. Welcome to the District School Board of Pasco County. You are watching an iMovie tutorial. It is a lot of fun to use on the iPad. I click stop. I can review it. Welcome to the District School Board of Pasco County. You are watching an iMovie tutorial. It is a lot of fun to use on the iPad. So I like it, so I'm going to click Accept. I could re review it again, retake it, or delete it. Now we have the purple, that's our audio we just recorded, so we can double click that, and if I want to turn it up or down, I can. Now if I want to edit some of that, I can take my circle down here, drag it shorter. Now I want that bit. Now I can go back and play. I want to edit it a little bit shorter, so I'm going to try it again to right there. I can even make it a little longer if I want from the beginning by dragging that circle. If you want to rearrange your video in the timeline, you click on a clip, you let, hold it until it becomes small like that. You can move it and let go, and you can watch your video. You are watching an iMovie tutorial. It is a lot of fun to use on the iPad. Okay, so that's moving a clip. Again, you click it. When it becomes small, you can then drag it and put it where you want it to go. You can also split clips in iMovie on the iPad. First, you want to click the clip. Then you want to find your playhead. That's the red line. And you just drag down. And you can see now that it's two separate clips. So if you want to put a picture in between, you can. If you don't want to do what you just did, you can always undo, which is right here. Undo, and we're back to our original clip. One other thing you can do is pinch and zoom on the timeline to make it smaller or bigger, so you can see more of what you're doing at one time. So if I want to see more, I would pinch in, 
and everything becomes smaller so I can actually see everything at one time. I can pinch out to see a little more detail. You can also add titles. Titles are available by double clicking the video. You see title style. We can click that. We can pick the one we like. They are a little limited, but they serve their purpose. When you're done with it, you click out. You can type in what you want it to say. And done. So now when we go back and play, we have a Welcome title. One school. thing that iMovie for the iPad has is themes. You can click the gear up in the right hand corner and you can see themes. So we have theme music. You can set which theme you like. And you can see back here that it's doing some stuff. It gives it a nice touch. If you like those, we can do bright. You can tell it to pick the theme music, so it automatically puts music in. You could fade in, fade out. Okay, so let's pick a different theme. Let's try playful. And you can see it changed the font. You can also change your transitions. You click the transition, double click. You can say none, how long you want it to be, or if you want the theme transition to go in. One cool thing about this is if you go to My Projects, you'll then see all of your videos, everything you've ever created. Uh, you can rename them. So all of your videos will be here. This question mark brings up a help menu. It has so many different things. It'll show you everything that iMovie can do. So anytime you get lost, this will help you. You can do a search. You can play your video full screen. Welcome to the District School Board of Pasco County. You are watching an iMovie tutorial. It is a lot of fun to use on the iPad. And then we're going to click Done. We can also send this movie now to our camera roll or to YouTube, Facebook. None of those we can do at school. Vimeo is blocked or CNNI report. But you can also send it to iTunes, which will then send your video to your iTunes, which will then import onto your computer when you're done. 